Welcome to Vinyasa 2. This practice is great for new students, intermediate, and advanced students. Always practice yoga in a warm environment, never in air condition. You need water and a yoga mat. And remember to go at your own pace, pushing yourself a little bit further, harder than the first practice. And we go into some more challenging poses and remember to take breaks when needed. Listen to your beautiful body. Namaste. Begin in child's pose. Closing your eyes. Relaxing your forehead down. Take a moment to center. Breathing in for three two, one, exhaling. Find your way to tabletop. Turn your hands out, stretching out the wrist, swaying right to left, gently moving in a circle. Bring some fluid into the joints, some prana energy, circle to the left, Get into the shoulders. How about the hips? Moving and feeling, that's yoga. Turning the hands in. Can you turn your hands back towards you and really stretch out the wrist? Preparing for our yoga practice. We spend a lot more time on our hands and wrist in vinyasa yoga. So always take the time to stretch the hands and the wrist. Tabletop, arching the back, inhaling, round the back, look at your belly. Deep breath in through the nose, exhaling out the nose. Breathe in. Reach your right arm forward, your left leg back, spinal balance. Exhale, tap, elbow to knee, reach, and then crunch, tap. Breathe in, and breathe out. Inhaling, exhaling, find that spinal balance. Reach your right arm back, Catch that back foot. Inhale, lift your heart and your head. Exhale, try to kick. That first back bend. Breathing and take a spinal balance. Bring your left foot down, reach your right arm through. Thread the needle. A wonderful stretch for the shoulder, the lat muscles. Make sure the head is down. Try to roll back a little bit more. Find your edge. And then we'll take the right arm all the way up for a twist. Awaken your spine with a big smile, deep breath. Feeling great today. Keep shining. Bring that right hand down. Tuck your right toes. And then one leg it down, dog. Left leg is up, head is down, bend the knee, circle and try to stretch the hip joint more by moving that knee. Breathe and step that left foot forward, lunge, low lunge, gently set back, try to straighten the left leg, set your bottom all the way down on your right foot. Lengthen your chest forward. It's like a half split. Try to grab your foot, stretching the hamstring, and then coming back to your lunge. Tuck your back toe, left leg, send it back. Walk it out, down dog. Breathe in, breathing out. 
go back to tabletop as we warm up, arch the back, round, and then take that left arm forward, right leg back, steady, balance, then crunch. Work your ab muscles, obliques, elbow to knee. Breathe in, tap, breathe out, inhaling, spinal balance. Take your left arm out, catch your right foot, inhale, head is up, exhale, kick back is bending. Find the ease in the back bends. Just breathe and the body will open up. The body will change. Spinal balance. Right toes straight down. Thread the needle. Left arm goes through. Your shoulder is down. And stretching the back. A couple more. Deep breath through the nose. Exhaling out the nose. Press the right hand to the mat. Left arm goes up. The twist. Chest open. Freedom. Deeper breath. Open up your heart. And bring your hand down. Tuck your left toes. And we'll take the right leg up. One leg it down dog. Bend the knee. Make a few circles, hip, joint, prime it up, get it ready. Step your foot through, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, straighten the right leg. Try to set back on your foot like a half split. Keep reaching the chest forward, head forward. A great stretch for the hamstring. Breathe in, breathe out, do your best. Go back to your lunge, tuck your toes, take your right leg back, down dog. Walk it out, stay light, keep breathing. And that's why I love yoga. Lo yoga keeps your body light. Halfway up, breathe and fold. Take a forward fold, grab your elbows. Sway gently back and forth. So with yoga, you have a light body. Things are not stagnant. Things are always flowing. Things are moving. So you feel energized, you feel good. Tap into your breath. Break through the tension, the stress, the negativity, the old habits. It's all heaviness. Now let it go today. Just clearing out the old. Releasing. Take another deep breath. Forward fold. Empty any heaviness. Do it now. Then you're ready to bend the knees, ragdoll, rising up, standing tall. Sweep the arms up, inhaling, stretch and stretch. And then hands to your heart, close your eyes, set your intention for today. Sweeping the arms up, you're ready. Reach up high, inhale, swan dive down, touch the mat. Halfway up, breathe in, hop your feet back, strong high push up. Arms are straight, legs are straight. Try to press through the heels, abs in tight. Draw the shoulders back, the triceps back. 
lean forward and flex at your wrist so you can lower slowly down coming forward. Feel the chaturanga hover. Upward facing dog, inhale. Look to your right, look to your left. Head on straight, heart open. And then downward facing dog. It's our resting pose, reconnecting. Breathe in, breathe out. Relaxing your jaw. As you get warmed up, push your heels down. Otherwise, bend the knees and back off a little bit. Take your time warming up. Look forward, walk or jump, top of the mat and fold. Rise up on the inhale, looking up, reaching back and swan dive down, exhaling. Halfway, inhale, look forward, jump back, look forward, lower, upward facing dog, nice, down dog, exhaling, clearing, look forward, walk or jump, and then fold, inhaling, rise up, keep moving, energize, dive down, exhale, Halfway, walk, jump back, slowly lower, upward dog, heart open, down dog, exhale, walk or jump, exhale, fold, inhaling, rise up, reach back, looking back, dive down, exhale, Halfway, walk, jump back, high push up. You could try chaturanga, inhaling, down dog, exhaling. Walk or jump, breathe in, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach back, look back a little bit more. Nice, dive down, fold. Halfway, high push up, slowly lower, up dog, downward facing dog. Build your stamina, keep breathing. You can think of it as your cardio. If you swim, if you run, it's important to be strong. So work on that cardio. You want to sweat when you do yoga, fold. You want to detoxify, reach up. And then hands to your heart, take a breath. Chair pose, keep going. Slowly lower and then dive down, touch the mat, fold. Walk, jump back, chaturanga, upward dog, down dog. Right leg lift, bend the knee. Step your foot through, back heel flat. Warrior one, reach up. High push up. Lowering down, up dog. Down dog. Left leg up. Step it through. Warrior one, back heel flat. Breathe in, look up. And then lowering to high push up, chaturanga, up dog, nice down dog, exhaling, breathe. Take another deep breath. High on your toes, walk or jump and fold. Chair pose, squat, lower, stand tall, arms by your side, hands in prayer. Chair pose, go again, dive down, touch the mat, halfway, walk, jump back, 
lowering down, up dog, down dog. Right leg lift, step it through, warrior one, inhale. High push up, exhale, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhaling. Left leg lift, step it through, warrior one, breathe in. High push up, slowly lower down, inhaling, up dog, down dog, build your strength, your stamina, deep breath, be able to move your own body weight, that is strength, that is balance, you don't have to lift all the weights, just manage your own body weight, walk or jump, fold, Chair pose, go low. Go low, stand tall, nice, hands in prayer. Reconnect, breathe. Let's hop our feet hip width, reach down. And tuck your hands underneath your feet. Slide the hands all the way underneath and fold. Forward fold, lengthening the hamstrings. Try to shift forward, lengthening your back, relaxing the neck. Deep breath. Gently rise up, inhaling, looking up. And then hands to your heart. Breathe. Balancing right thigh up to the right hand. If you have that, go to tree pose. Focusing your eyes, reaching your arms up high. Beautiful balance, tree. Next step, hands behind the back, interlace your fingers, arms are straight. Warrior three, balancing, chest forward. Please keep your right leg up, lengthening that right leg straighter. Step your right heel down, open your heart, lean back, bowing down, grateful, warrior. So the left shoulder slides down the inside of that leg. Try to get a little bit lower. Breathe into the hip, bending that left knee. Release the arms, twist. Right hand down, left arm goes up. Rejuvenate the back, twist. Bring the left hand down, one leg it down dog. Left leg is up, high push up, chaturanga push up, down dog. Walk or jump, halfway, exhale, fold, rise up, hands in prayer, breathe, balancing, left thigh, left hand, go to tree pose, step two, hands in prayer, reaching the arms up. Take a breath. Next step, hands behind the back. Interlace your fingers. Arms stay straight. That keeps the back straight. Preparing. Warrior three. Kick your foot back slowly. Head goes forward. Find that perfect balance. You're lighter. Bring the heel back. Arch your chest back. Open your heart, bow down, grateful warrior. It's a hip opener. It's a great shoulder stretch. Try to get the head down. Try to get lower. Take another breath. Twist to release. Right arm is up, you're still smiling. Keep smiling through yoga. Deep breath, you're doing something 
awesome for yourself. Right leg goes up, one legged down dog. High push up, up dog. Can you add a push up, down dog? Breathe. High on your toes, walk, jump, halfway up, exhale, fold. Sweep your arms up, inhale. Hands to the heart, exhale. High on your tippy toes, more balance. Focusing the eyes, lift your bottom up. So you have to squeeze your bottom. Bend those knees, slowly lower. Open the knees, squat. Try a crow, look forward, keep your head up. Weight into the hands. Knees on the triceps. Look forward, pick up your toes. Pick them up so high that the toes touch. Try to point your toes, lift your feet up higher. Try to lift your hips up higher. Beautiful, roll back. Lay on your back, happy baby, grabbing the feet, just rocking and rocking, massaging the back, opening the hips, happy baby, take another breath, lengthening the low back, you could try to straddle and really straighten out those legs, find your edge, find that good stretch. Hug your knees in, breathe. Can you rock? Can you roll up? Couple more, rock and roll. Rock onto the feet, lift your bottom. Rock back, roll forward, lift up your bottom, stand up tall. Look back, a little back bend, energize. Reach back, and we dive back down, fold. Halfway up. Walk or jump, high push up, low push up. Inhale, up dog, downward dog, exhaling. Right leg lift, open the hip. Knee to forehead, step it through. And take your right foot out a little bit more. Hands on the inside. Prepare for the push ups. Bend the elbows straight back. Two, push up, bring your chest down. Four, five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine. Here's 10 push ups. Way to go. Walk your foot in, reach your right arm back. Try to catch your back foot. Looking back, a twist, a good stretch on your quad. Do your best to grab your foot. Releasing Warrior B. Straddle to the left. Bend that left knee. Warrior B to the right. Straddle, get low. Bend the left knee. Warrior B to the right. Straddle to the left. Hold it here. Left hand down, right arm up. Smiling. Open your chest. Breathe, and we go to Warrior B. Pause there, try to pulse. Go lower, go a bit lower. Warrior B, warrior strength, warrior attitude. Reverse warrior, reach the right arm back. Reach the right hand to your right ankle, side angle, stacking those shoulders. Left arm behind your back. If you're ready, try a bind. Shoulders must be stacked to bind. Keep working on it, hands touching. Release the bind, reverse warrior. Reach the right arm back, straighten the right leg. Keep reaching back with the leg straight. So you're reaching up higher, more length. It's a preparation for triangle pose. Straight legs, straight arms, right hand to right shin. Or touch the mat gently, looking up at your left thumb. 
pulling the abs in tight, ribs in tight, so firm. Bring the left hand down, step your back foot up, twist, the right hip draws back, pull the abs in so you can get a better, deeper twist. You're warm, you're ready. Try to look up and get the full spinal twist. We'll bring that left hand forward, bend that right knee, can you grab it? Prepare for your dancer's pose, revolve dancer. Reach that left arm forward, keep your eyes up, head up, kick, reach. We'll bring that hand back down. Switch the hands, right hand down, left arm is up, Ardha Chandrasan, where you open, complete liberation, confidence, trying to hover the right hand, find that awesome balance, step your foot back, reverse warrior to exit, and let's take a vinyasa, slow and steady, Go through up dog and down dog. Breathe, reset, reconnect. Left leg lift, bend that knee. Knee to forehead, step it through, lunge. Left hand on the inside of that left foot, preparing for our push-ups. Bend the elbow straight back, go low, like chaturanga. Here's four, keep going, five, six, go lower, seven, eight, breathe, nine, keep going, down, press, beautiful. Lunging, reach the left arm back. Can you grab your right foot? It's a twist, keep your weight going forward, stretching out your quad, the hip, breathing, beautiful, releasing, straddle to your right, go low in the hips, warrior B to the left, straddle to the right, and warrior B. Straddle to the right, go low, bend that right knee, right fingertips down, left arm reach back, twist, opening the hip, and then gently find that warrior B with a pulse. Find your edge, warrior of light. She is a believer. Reverse warrior. Breathe and lengthen your left side. Take a breath. And then side angle. Left hand down, right arm is up. Try to lean back slightly, chest open. And then you could add the bind. It's an option, everything's an option. Find a pose, stay in the pose, you do your best, keep trying, deep breath in, keep trying, reverse warrior, breathe in, reach back, straight legs, reach back more, but keep lifting up, lengthening, grow taller, lighter, preparation for triangle, left hand to the left shin or lightly touch the mat, right arm is up, shoulders are stacked, legs are straight, take a breath as you keep going up and up, and we'll bring that left arm forward and across, spinal twist, step your back foot up, heel flat, Turn the belly, left hip back, twisting, right hand is up, left hand is up. Try to glance to the side, try to look up, really get the twist. 
Shift your weight forward. We're going to bend the right knee. Reach back. Catch the right foot with your left hand. It's revolved dancer. Head is up. Reaching forward as you kick up. Find that perfect balance. Gently bring the right hand down. Left fingertips come down. Just change the hands. Ardha Chandrasan. Chest open, hip open. Try to find that balance where you're hovering the left hand. For a moment, find it. it feels so free, so strong. Step it back, reverse warrior to exit. And let's take our vinyasa. Chaturanga. Inhaling up dog. Exhaling down dog. You're getting stronger. Deep breath. Tap into that deep energy. Persevere. Stamina. High push-up pose. Breathe. Stay with me. High push-up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay with it. It's okay if you shake. I'm shaking. Slowly lower down. All the way down to the belly. Arms out wide. Let's strengthen the back. Lifting up like a jet airplane. Arms up. Chest is off the mat. Thighs are up off the mat. Bring it down. Now just take your right arm up. Look over to the right. Bring your left arm up. Look over to the left. And then look to the right, take your right arm up, and your left leg. Right arm, left leg, head is up. Switch, left arm, right leg. Lift up even higher, bring it down, awesome. Reach your arms forward. Lift your whole body up again. Now bend your right knee, left hand, reach back, grab your right foot like revolve dancer but we're on our bellies lift everything up and then switch right arm reach back grab your left foot revolve dancer inhale lift up arms are up legs are up it's all up inhale beautiful right ear down take a break stretching the neck relax Chest up. Reach back. Grab your ankles. Danyarasana. Full back bend. Head up. Chest open. Kicking like in dancer's pose. Stay with it. Stay up a little bit longer. Keep kicking to your maximum. Take another breath. Head up. Heart open. Kick. Beautiful. Now rest left ear down. Stretch the neck. Take a breath. Hands beneath your shoulders and take a child's pose. to all the back bending. Child's pose. Let's try another back bend. Prepare for camel on your knees. Reach your hands back. Try to grab your feet, your ankles. Shift your hips forward, thighs forward. Look back. Try to drop the head back. Do your best. Keep your heart open. Take another breath. Hands in prayer. And just set straight down. Bottom on your feet. Take a breath. Let's try it again. If that was good, go to step two. Toes tuck under. 
Reach your arms up, drop your head back, bring your hands to the mat, toes tucked, and press into wheel pose. Notice your toes have to be tucked to press into wheel pose. Coming back down, roll back into boat pose, core, abs. Inhaling, lift your head up, keep your feet up, shift your weight forward more. Feeling those abs, feet on the ground, coming back. Let's try it again. Camel pose. Tuck your toes under. But let's roll forward into rabbit. Rabbit is a wonderful counter pose. Forehead down. Keep your hands on your feet and go back into your back bend. Camel. Keep your hands on your heels. Go into camel. Rabbit. And then roll back into camel. So opening your heart, working on the back bends. Roll forward into rabbit. And then roll back, chest open into camel. It takes a little bit of practice, but you can do it. The goal is to keep your hands on your feet. And rolling forward, rabbit pose. Lengthening your back so you'll, you'll be taller today. Pull those abs in tight, rabbit pose, take a breath. Slowly roll back, sweep your arms up, way to go, reach up really high. Hands to the mat, downward facing dog. Just shake it out, stay light, reconnect. Take your right leg up, bend the right knee. Opening the hip. Bring the knee, right foot forward. Straighten your right leg, the half split. Take a breath. Half split or try the full split. Slide your right heel forward. Left thigh is on the mat. You may want to look back and check. Now you could use a pillow or a block beneath your right hamstring. Only if your legs are flat on the mat, reach your arms up. And then exhale, fold over that right leg. Splits, keep working towards that. It's our deep hamstring stretch, but the splits will allow you to do so many poses in yoga. It's really a breakthrough pose, so practice the splits. Do it every day, 40 days to learn a new pose, to create a new habit. Anybody can be flexible. It just takes practice. And a good attitude, you can do it. Just keep saying, I will try. Hold that split, take another breath. And we'll bend that right knee. Chest up and preparing for pigeon pose. Bring your chest forward, bring the head down our deep hip release on that right side. Try to keep your left thigh on the mat. It's just like doing the splits. That left thigh femur bone must be anchored down so the hips feel balanced. And take a few more deep breaths here. Pigeon pose. We're releasing tension emotions that get stored up in the hips and they say if your neck is tight if your jaw is tight then your hips can be tight so relax your face relax your jaw deep breath lifting your head up inhale up dog and then bring that back leg on top 
of your right leg. So we have double pigeon. Try to bring the knees down, they're stacked, and then bring your elbows forward if possible. Forearms on the mat, head forward, keeping your bottom down. It's a deeper hip stretch. Keep breathing. Couple more. Another deep breath. Stay in it. Slowly lifting up. We'll bring that left leg back. Tuck your back toes, lift your right leg up, one-legged down dog, feeling a new hip. Bend the right knee, whole new you. Downward facing dog, you can really feel the difference. Left leg is up, open the hip. Circle that hip if you need to. Step your left foot through. That low lunge. Head is up. Straighten the left leg. Half split. Stay with your half split. Keep trying for the split. Send the left foot forward. If you need your prop, place it underneath your left hamstring. Right thigh is down. Head is up. And keep working on getting the thighs down. I have to even press my legs down. Notice where you're clenching. Inhaling. Arms up. Breathe in. On the exhale, you could fold and hug that left leg. And remember, the splits, it's a breakthrough posture. So it takes a while to learn it, but it's worth it. You will be able to do so much more in yoga if you will learn this pose. Be patient with yourself. You can keep trying. You can do it. Deep breath. Feels so good to stretch. Deep breath. Splits, inhaling, rise up, roll to your left, <clears throat> pigeon pose, bending the left knee, check, make sure your right thigh is down, just like in the splits, and walk the chest forward, head is down, and stretching that left hip. Try to bring the head all the way down, closing the eyes. Your deepest breath so far. Take another deep breath. Your edge. Gently walk your hands back. Inhaling, head is up. Roll to the side. Bring your right foot forward. Stack it on top of your left leg. Double pigeon, press your thighs down. Lean forward, try to get the elbows forward, the hands down, fold the head down. 
You can always put a towel or a blanket in between your legs if there's a gap. Deep breath. It's our intense hip opener. Breathe in. Breathe out. Connecting to your breath. That's where you should be. Deep breath in. Exhaling. Letting go. Stay in it. Double pigeon. One more. Deep breath. Folding. Big exhale. Slowly coming up. Way to go. And we'll send that right leg back. Tuck your toes. Now the left leg goes up. One leg it down dog. Check out your new hip. Deep breath. Open the hip. Downward facing dog. Walk it out. Balancing. Lengthening. Another deep breath, down dog. Now turn your toes to the right, bend those knees, come all the way down. So you wanna look forward, the knees point to the right, but the chest is forward, and crawl the hands forward. We have a very deep twist. Bring the right ear down, arms out to the sides try to have them like a cactus and bring that right ear down so you're looking towards the left knees are to the right but you turn your head and you look to the left and that's the challenge in this twist breathing exhaling And creating new energy by releasing the old and these twists can be very challenging stay with it find a way to relax to close the eyes to not fidget deepen your breath let go Stay here. One more deep breath. And we'll gently exit. Walk your hands back. Tuck your toes. <clears throat> Downward dog. Go high on your toes. Turn your toes and your knees to the left. So you already feel the twist coming. Come down to the knees. Knees point to your right. Looking forward, your chest is forward. And then you crawl the hands forward. Carefully coming down, bring the left ear to the mat. So notice the knees point to the left. You're looking to the right. This deep releasing twist. Closing the eyes, here, feel your breath, stay with it. Take another deep breath. Twisting poses are so good for your digestive tract. Things are moving and flowing. 
Things are not stagnant. You will not be bloated or constipated with a regular yoga practice. Your gut will be so healthy. You'll want to eat less. You'll want to eat clean foods. Down dog, maybe be a vegetarian. Breathe in, breathe out. It's truly a lifestyle, this yoga practice. It's a healthy way. I believe it is the way to keep your body light and young, tabletop, massage the back, feel your spine. Breathe in, round the back, breathe out. Massaging your lifeline, your spine. It's so important to keep it in line every day. A little bit of yoga every day. Coming down to your forearms. If you're ready for a headstand, head is on the mat, elbows are down. Walk your feet forward until the hips are over your shoulders. If they're over the shoulders, just try to hop your feet up. Feet reaching up to the sky. Squeeze your legs together. Squeeze your bottom really tight. The joints stack. Ankles over knees, hips, shoulders, neck. And then the balance is pretty easy. Keep it really basic. Headstand. If you want to try to open up your legs, any variation. Or take a moment to rest in child's pose if you're not quite ready for the inversions or headstands. That's okay. Yoga is a lifetime activity. It's not something you learn in one day. Slowly lower the feet down. It might be fun to hop the feet back. Forearm plank. So you're on your hands and your elbows, you're on your toes, and your body is parallel to the mat. Press through the heels, walk your feet forward, our easy dolphin pose. So the on the elbows, giving your hands a break, your wrist a break. Keep pressing back into the legs, press your heels down. Dolphin pose, and we'll come on down to child's pose as we finish. Child's pose, sealing this practice. Breathe in, breathe out, rising up. Sweep your arms up, look up, and hands in prayer. Bring the feet forward, sweep the arms up, and fold forward. That forward fold, putting everything together, halfway up, lengthening, Grab your feet and then fold a little bit deeper. You might bend the knees to back off. As you become more flexible, the legs go straighter. Try to keep your belly near your thighs or on your thighs. The forward folding relaxes the mind. It relaxes the body, the central nervous system. It helps you to sleep deeper. Take another breath, forward fold. A big hug. But if you can, go a little bit deeper, fold again. Fold in half if possible. And then we'll gently rise up 
and let's roll all the way back. Lay on your mat and make sure your body, especially that your head is supported, that it's on your mat or on a blanket. Opening the hands and the heart and this total surrender. You worked hard to get to this point. Breathe in. Open your mouth, cleansing. Ha. Let go. Total relaxation. Closing your eyes. You might cover your eyes. the most important pose where you're soaking up all the benefits of your practice. Please lay here for five minutes. Lay here with me. Be very still. Breath is really quiet. Gently awaken, move your head, hands, feet, reach your arms overhead, full body stretch, breathe in, open wide, ha, walk your feet in, rolling to your right side, fetal pose, sealing the practice. Surrender to what is, let go of what was, 
have faith in what will be. Seated pose, our seat of yoga, this perfect place of peace. Closing the eyes, index finger thumbs touch. Bring your hands together in prayer. Namaste. Hands at your forehead. Amen. Reach your hands high. God bless you. Hands in prayer. Thank you for taking time out for you. Have a beautiful day. yoga, hit the subscribe button for new classes and 